Over the next two days, we're going to be exploring South Korea's urban and vibrant coastal city of Busan. A place filled with bustling streets, mouthwatering markets and street stalls, white sand beaches and so much more. We're going to be taking you along with us as we check out the main things to do and places to see here in Busan, as well as getting stuck into some of the tastiest and our favourite Korean foods that you should also try on your trip to South Korea. So right behind me here is where we're starting our day at the Gwangbukdon Market right in the city centre here of Busan where we're hopefully going to pick up some Korean breakfast. I feel like this market's a bit more of a fashion and clothes market than food. <laughs> and it's very busy. <laughs> Okay, so we started a wee stall in the middle of the street here. They're doing up some fried dumplings and loads of different tasty treats. We are hungry, so these look really, really good. I think they've got vegetable juice in the middle of them. I'm not too sure. And she's also gave us a wee drink here. She told us it's hot. And it's very hot. You can actually see the steam coming out of it. You gotta eat right in the street in front of them where they're cooking. Very good experience. Let's go. <laughs> they're so hot. Very good, very tasty. It's so busy here, people are just going around everywhere. The Korean food, it's amazing. And yeah, I was right, they're just veg in the middle. Very tasty though. Okay, I'm gonna give the juice a try. I think it's a broth. Oh wow, yeah, it's yeah. It's like a fishy broth. Yeah. <laughs> you getting more? Yeah, getting some more. These, there was like two different types of fried dumplings. There was like we small round ones, which we had a minute ago. And then these longer looking ones. So I'm not sure if the inside's the same, but the last ones were that good. We'll have to try these ones as well. We'll have to find out. <laughs> it's this sauce though, it's amazing. We've got a spring onion with it. Mm. If you can see the inside, we've got like noodles and carrots. That's tasty. I've really enjoyed both of these options. I think the small rounder one definitely had more flavour and it was most definitely easier to use as well. These longer ones are, de are trying to slip out so I think if I was going again I would just go for those little round boys but this has been good as well. Overall, good breakfast. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now that we are all full up after breakfast, we are going to do a little bit of shopping because after all this is like the fashion street here in Busan and we have so many different vintage shops and stalls to choose between and all of the clothes are at a really affordable price as well so let's go. Literally just clothes everywhere, every street you look down there's just clothes everywhere. I love it. And then you can see some tents in the distance so tents always means food. More food! <laughs> So Busan is probably the second most popular destination for anybody coming to visit South Korea and it's a city down in the southern part of the country right along the coast so here you've actually got beaches you've got views out over the mountains loads of cool quirky villages and areas and then the big main built up city in the city center here and honestly just from walking around this morning it's a blast we are having such a good time here it's really vibrant really really kind of modern and cool and there's just a lot going on and honestly I love Busan, I love South Korea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have got some spicy fried chicken. I was a wee bit hungry after our last snack still, I'm not gonna lie. We've got this chicken and then also, I can't remember the name of these. We had these in Seoul a few times. They're actually really good. The rice cake. Okay. Mm. Oh, the sauce on that looks unreal. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Chewy. It's cold, which I didn't expect. But that's good. That's really good. Good sauce, good flavour. And a cup full of stuff. Yeah! I see and hear our kids! Let's go, let's go! <laughs> moment we are in Biff Square or B-I-F-F. -F. I'm not sure if it's an abbreviation or that's its actual name but this is one of the main areas to check out here in the city. We had a full day planned but I think that's kind of out the window now. I just want to spend the day walking around here, checking out all the stands, eating, going in and out of shops and yeah just exploring the city centre. So it turns out Biff stands for Busan International Film Festival. It says it on a sign up there. Way up there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now we know. <laughs> I know I just said our plan for today was out the window, but after spending a bit of time here, we thought we'd better go and check out some of the other main areas in Busan because after all, we are only here for a few days. So the area we have come to at the moment is called the Gamshan Cultural Village. Again, I probably butchered the pronunciation of that, so apologies. But it's a location just on the outskirts of the city centre here in Busan. And it's a wee village that has been built kind of on a massive slope. It is packed full of really colourful and bright houses. And all the houses are like completely built on top of each other. They're so close, they're really narrow as well. And it's a really interesting place to come and walk around. You've also got this ridiculously amazing view right behind me out over the city of Busan. You can see the whole way to the coastline, to the ports out over the mountains and honestly it is just wicked it's a really really beautiful location we're going to spend some time walking around here seeing what all is actually about the area i know this originally started as like a town built by korean refugees after the war and then they decided to paint all the houses all colorful because they just wanted a more vibrant kind of location so yeah we're gonna have a wee walk around spend some time here and just take it all in i think this is like a sort of museum or that we're walking around. We've just decided to go up one of the narrow wee alleyways and there's windows everywhere with information in Korean. So I'm not sure what they're saying. But look at all the drawings and everything, the paintings, it's so cool. The sewing machine inside. Look, there's a picture of all the women sewing. Oh wow. It's kind of like taking you through what it was like to live in this village all those years ago. Imagine you were the postman for all year. So <laughs> God help the postman. Yeah, that's an awful lot of steps. The postman, the milkman. <laughs> you'd be you'd be very tired after a day's work. You making friends? Mm, no, we're angry. Uh, grumpy Ashling. Had to walk all this way. <laughs> grumpy Korean Ashling walking up hills. <laughs> like she got freckles just like me. <laughs> this area has like a special nickname. I think it's the Korean Korean Santorini. Santorini. Yeah, yeah. Yes, if I'm correct. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think it's known as the Korean Santorini. And I'm definitely getting that with these like pastely blues and all the different colours going on. And then in the middle of all of this, in this really old kind of school kind of village, you've got this lovely modern... Launderette. <laughs> I suppose everybody needs clean laundry. <laughs> so we have officially made it into the cultural village. The area we were walking around was not the cultural village. Uh, Turns we've, out. We've just found out. But this area is full of tourists, so I'm going to guess we're in the right place now. <laughs> not as authentic. No, not as authentic. A lot more shops, but it's still very nice. <laughs> Some frozen beer. Frozen beer. I think it's like a beer slushy. I don't know if that sounds nice. I don't know how I feel about it. Part of me really wants it, the other part of me really doesn't. <laughs> A few hours around the cultural village is plenty of time and it's only a short 30 minute bus ride away from the Biff Square. So once we finished up here, we made our way back to the Biff Square area where we wanted to pick up something that has become a statement of our South Korea trip. So I promise we didn't intend on coming out today and filming a food video, it's kind of just happened. But Korea is honestly just filled with loads of amazing street food and these have quickly become one of our favourites. They're called a hot tuk and they are like a sweet dessert kind of a treat. You get them literally all over the country that we have seen anyway. And they come in different flavors, different kind of styles, but normally what they are is like a deep fried donut kind of a thing with different fillings. We normally go for like the honey and brown sugar filling. You can also get them with like loads of different seeds and nuts and stuff and they are fantastic. They are only 1,000 won, which is really good as well. And yeah. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> they're amazing. I believe they're like an extremely popular and famous street food snack here in Korea as well. You see people literally all over eating them. And there's normally quite a queue at every hot tuk stand we go to. And I can completely see why they're fantastic. Oh, so sweet. 
So it's got pretty chilly now. I've had to put my coat on, but as we're walking down the main street here, we noticed all of these tents, and I just just assumed that there were more food tents, but they're actually not. Once we got closer up, we seen that there was women in each of them reading people's fortunes. They have a table in front of them with loads of tarot reading cards, which is something pretty interesting and I didn't expect to see, but I don't think we'll be going in for a visit. Okay, so I know I was just saying that it's really cold, <laughs> but we've seen these ice creams that are 32 centimeters tall and we just have to get them. Like, come on, we have three flavors to pick between. So we can get vanilla and chocolate, blueberry and strawberry, or yogurt and mango. Which yogurt and mango. Yogurt. yogurt and mango. Go on, go on. <laughs> keep it straight. Keep it straight. Oh my days. <laughs> yeah, I have to keep it straight or we'll go, woo. Look at the size of that. Oh my dear, that's massive! It's so sweet! Oh my god, the mango is amazing! Oh my god, I wow. feel like I'm like... Well, are you enjoying? I can't believe I'm walking around the street eating an ice cream that is bigger than my head. <laughs> what a day to be alive! Shortly after this, we decided to head back to our hotel for the night as we had a big day planned for tomorrow again. The next morning, we hopped on a bus and headed to the far side of the city to Hyundai, another popular place to visit in the city, and that's mainly because of its white sand beaches and urban city atmosphere. But before we hit the beach, we made a quick stop off at the Hyundai traditional market to pick up some breakfast. Pancake time. Okay, so we have kimchi pancake, potato pancake, mung bean pancake. Plenty of pancakes. I'm gonna eat kimchi. What do you want? Ooh, I kind of like the sound of the garlic and chive one. So unfortunately our lady didn't have a seating area. We thought she did. Turns out it was just her only private kind of eating corner, I suppose. Um, so we had to come out and take her food to like the streets, which we don't mind anyway. We went for a kimchi pancake and a garlic and chive pancake, which we haven't had before, but it looks pretty good. Oh, that's hot. Oh wow, very garlicky. That's good though. That's tasty, I like that. And then they put like the lovely black sauce with onions all over the top of it again. And then we had to go for these, which are like sweet potatoes, it just said. And they're literally like potatoes cubed up, fried off in some mad sweet glaze. Oh. We're having a doggy argument. <laughs> Look at that. Excuse the small dogs, they're having a bit of small dog syndrome there and just barking away. <laughs> but yeah, look, these bad boys are covered in like some sort of sweet glaze. You see this on like fruit and stuff all the time in stalls here. Never in potatoes. Okay. Yeah, it's like honey. It's nearly like a honey, like covered in honey, potatoes covered in honey fried off. They're good too. Oh, I'm happy with breakfast today. And breakfast wouldn't be complete without an iced coffee and a mega one at that. We sized up and I thought the size up was for 20 ounces. I don't even know how big this is, but it's literally the size of my head. It's as big as your head. <laughs> and it's good. Mm -hmm. It's so tasty. We haven't needed an iced coffee during our trip so far. It's been quite cold, but today it's nice and warm. So iced coffee it is. I think where we're at now is like the main street in the main area here in Hyundai but the reason why we came here was to go to the beach and it's right down at the very bottom so let's go. So this side of Busan is very different compared to the area we were staying in yesterday and the day before. There's a lot more of like a, a holiday kind of atmosphere here and I'm assuming it's because you're down near the beach and on the coast. It is honestly lovely. There is a lot going on, a lot of development happening, huge big buildings going up. And we did read online that the Busan has only become like a big kind of tourist destination over this past three or four years. So it is a major up and coming location. I see the beach. <laughs> it's lovely and it goes on for ages like all the way down there all the way down there and the sand looks really soft my hat's gonna blow away i have to keep holding on to it <laughs> i think it's time to get the shoes and socks off yeah go on feel the sand between the toes i don't know if this is what these are for but there's air compressors all around the beach 
and we seen loads of people using them to blow the sand off their feet and we were like that is like the best idea ever it's a genius idea it's a genius idea i actually think it might be for bikes to like blow up your tires i'm not too sure but this is something all beaches around the world needs to have it's fantastic! However, it does leave your feet very, very cold. <laughs> <laughs> the Hyundai side of the city here has been wicked today. We spent quite a bit of time walking up and down the beach and just chilling in the sand. It's honestly been lovely. But we're going to make our way over to the far side of the city at the moment to visit another very popular destination. And to get there, we're going to use the bus. We've been using the public transport and the bus quite a lot since getting here to South Korea. And it's been fantastic, to be honest with you. A lot of countries we go to, the public transport is iffy to say the least but here it is first class it's all cashless as well so how it operates is you have to go to a convenience store buy a t-money card and top it up and then you can scan on and off the bus or any of the other public transport this next stop is the jagal chi market a fresh fish and seafood market right on the edge of nampo port right along the coast and only a short walk away from the biff square where we spent a lot of our time yesterday. This market is considered to be the largest fish and seafood market in all of South Korea. The market is filled with rows of stalls selling a wide range of fresh seafood from fish and shellfish to octopus and squid. Wow, look at these. No. It's dead. It's looking to Oh my God. They even make me feel icky then. And if you're a bit squeamish, this might not be the place for you. But if you are looking for a great opportunity to capture some really cool snaps of a busy and hardworking market, then this is definitely the spot for you. So we wanted to finish out our evening in the city at the best viewpoint, which is the Busan Tower, which is all the way up there. Wow. <laughs> So many steps. <laughs> Whenever we decided to come to the tower, I thought you would just kind of go to the base of it and then there would be, you know, a lift on up. You know, help us out. Yeah, <laughs> turns out there's quite a lot of steps to get up to the base of the tower and then hopefully there will be a lift. But it's lovely, we walk through like a wee kind of Forester. grass, foresty area, loads of trees, really loads nice and peaceful to be in the middle of the city. And yeah, as I said, loads of birds squawking away in the distance. I just feel oh, it's lovely. I'm warm enough anyway. <laughs> Something that I have been loving about South Korea is that nearly everywhere accepts card and doesn't actually charge any additional fees or anything. So it is fantastic. Our tickets to get up to the tower were 12,000 won each. It's not too bad and hopefully we're going to get a great view over the city. <laughs> such a beautiful city from above. It's so, so colourful. Wow. Oh, it's way nicer than I thought it was going to be. So many boats. Our plan was to come up to the observation deck and watch the sun go down but unfortunately the observation deck isn't a full 360 and the side where the sun is actually dipping down we can't see but we are still loving watching all the lights come on and just waiting for the day to turn in tonight we've had such a blast exploring busan and we really hope that you've enjoyed this video if you have hit that like button down there and if you're new make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see what all we get up to see you later bye